Okay guys, so today I'm going to be going over the five baits that I love to use for fishing in a pond or in any small body of water. Um, very first on the list is a bait that I have caught lots of fish on um, and that you really should have in a pond and that is a um, square bill crankbait or really any crankbait but my favorite one to use is this one right here. It has the blue gill pattern. It has the blue gill pattern. Um, and it, just, it looks exactly like a bluegill. Um, even more like a red breast sunfish because of all this red down here. But the pattern on top looks like a bluegill. Which is perfect for ponds because that's usually what the forge is. And if your pond doesn't have bluegill in it, you probably shouldn't go with this bait. But you can even see the chipping on this bait. So I'm going to get a new one. They sell these on Amazon for like $10, I think. But... This bait is the Rebel um, crankbait, bluegill crankbait, and I just love this bait. When it originally came in the packaging, it had barbless hooks, but I found out that when I used the barbless hooks, they're easy to get off, fish off, um, which is exactly what happened. When the fish jumped out of the water, this um, lure would just pop right out of their mouth. So, and that, so here's some cool features on this bait. is It has a 3D look to it. So, like, the eyes and, and everything are popping out. And instead of having a circle clip, like the ones on the back right there, it has a U-clip right here, which gives it a little bit longer. It works on a snap swivel. Like, the bait moves the same on a snap swivel, which is really cool. And this is a sinking lure, but it doesn't sink fast. It's like one foot every ten seconds. So, this is one of my rather favorite baits ever to fish in a pond. The second one we'll be going over is one of my favorite drop shot and wacky rig lures, and that is the um, creme, cream, I don't really know, king of baits, reusable rig, um, has a picture of a bass. This lure is very good to use wacky rig style or drop shot, but I mainly, I mean you could do like Texas rig and jig head, but I mainly use wacky rig and drop shot, and I catch a lot of bass this way. This is what I caught one of my whelk bass on in the video. Oh, also, you can check out my other videos, but in this, um, I caught I caught a lot of my fish on this lure right here. You can check it out in my video. Um, next one is if you're going extremely finesse, and that is a very, very small bug-looking plastic lure. I believe that this is a trout magnet jig head silver, but the body or the actual plastic lure is the Whipper Lures Bug, I think, Mayfly Larva. And main, I've caught a small bass on this before. So my cat decided to join us. Hey, Cole. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is good. I've caught a bass on here before, but it was only like this big. But I've caught bigger ones on here too before. But anyway, on to our next lure. That is the Senko. I went over this in a previous video. Get out of here. And this bait is very good for bass on a wacky rig. That's what I mainly use it for. Um, this lure has a lot of salt in it, which helps it sink faster. And Extreme Philly Fishing goes over a video in this, so you might want to go check that out. Just look up Extreme Philly Fishing. It's really a cool video explaining why the Senko works and how it works. On to our net last and final bait, we go on to the tube. I fish this usually weightless, and you can just see how much salt is on this. <laughs> yeah, it's a really crazy amount, but this tube is a black and greenish yellow. And this is very versatile in any pond that has a lot of weeds. Just fish it weedless and weightless, and it catch a lot of fish. So... These are my top five favorite pond lures. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe down below. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and goodbye. <laughs> Before I say goodbye, I want you to see something real quick. Doesn't he look mad? <laughs> Come here, buddy.
He's the sweetest little kitty. <laughs> Goodbye, guys.